Hello, dear friends. This is Jeannie from Dollhouse Rescue. I'm back in my craft room and I'm in a craft mood again. Welcome back to my workshop and to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make something really, really cute. We are going to make this little tiny plunger for your bathroom. And look at how perfect it goes up here in this house. And furthermore, we're going to make it from something that's probably going to be no cost to you, something that you may already have. I always like to give credit to my dollhouse friends because one of them in our dollhouse group showed me how to make this. I can't remember who it was or I would say her by name. I just can't recall. But she showed how to make it and you make it using a jug of laundry soap. This happens to be tied. But the part you need is this part right here, the little faucet part that you open and shut to get your soap out. And other brands use this same thing. So you need a brand that has one of these on it. It's got a button on it that you push the top and then the soap comes out. Usually in our cupboard, I have it laid this way and then it can pour right out into my washing machine. But believe it or not, that part you need to make that little plunger is this little part right here, right inside. Um, of this. So we're going to have to take this button off and get that part out. Now I made that a few months ago and I can't remember exactly how I got that off. So we're just going to have to give it our best try today. As I recall, if you push that button, that little plunger comes up and then you can grab it. Look, it pulled right out and there it is. That's all there is to it. It's essentially made. Now I added a little paint to mine, but I didn't have to do another single thing. This one's got a little bit of soap on it, so I'll wash it off and then I'll paint it up and look at there. A perfect plunger, no cost, nothing else had to be done. It, I took a minute to just wash that off a little bit. It had some uh, blue laundry soap on it yet, but the next thing I'll do is just put a little paint on it. Um, I did brown on the handle and that I did a kind of a orangey red down on the base, just like my real plunger. Now you could take this part um, and maybe use something sharp and cut this red part off here. And that could be like a bowl for your kitchen. And I'm not sure what else you could make out of that, but that's another, another idea. I've got one more quick thing to show you. And again, I learned this from my dollhouse friends. Take your little bathtub. This happens to be one of those corner bathtubs, but you can do it on any dollhouse bathtub and fill it full of shiny beads. Now these are those pony beads. But you can use anything that's kind of shiny and just fill that up with shiny beads and it looks just like bubbly bubble bath. We're going to get that done and then I'm going to call this little bathroom good for now. You can see I've added a couple of little rubber duckies on there that I got from one of my miniature friends that sells uh, miniatures. Um, you can get those different places. There you go. Look at there. We got our bubble bath ready to go. Isn't that sweet and easy? All right, thanks for joining me. Remember, as always, you always have a friend here in Iowa and a lot of friends in our Facebook groups. So I'm so glad that you've joined us and please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you for, if you've already done that. Before I leave, I thought I'd take just a minute and see if that would work to cut that off of there and make a bowl. I've got out my little X-Acto knife. I got this at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut around here and I'm going to make an effort to not cut my finger as I do it. As I was doing that, this actually came loose and it came out. Now this is not a bad size to be like a planter or it could even be like a lampshade. Both of those will, would work, but I've started to get that cut. So I'm going to lay it down here on my cutting mat where I can keep my fingers out of the way and cut. go ahead and continue to cut all the way around there uh, to make that a bowl. I switched to a bigger craft knife, more like a box cutter, and I got that uh, trimmed off. However, it does have a little stem part in the middle. I'm going to cut that off too to make it just a little bit more bowl-like. That wasn't too hard to do, but be careful because it's sharp and it's kind of roly-poly and it actually had a little bit of soap on it yet, which I've now washed off. Here you see it sitting on a 
124 scale sink or it looks more like a mixing bowl or something like that. And here it is on a table that size, the bigger size, like 116. It's almost like a cereal bowl size for that size of house. Very quick and easy, but be careful when you're working with those sharp blades. Thanks again for joining me. Thank you.